Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to use i3 uh, Tiling Window Manager in your Manjaro GNOME distribution. So I've done two videos previously on i3. The first one is completely starting from scratch, right from downloading Manjaro i3 distribution, i3 edition, and using my Ansible playbook to configure and customize your i3 desktop, right? And in the second video, um, I've explained if you've got an Ubuntu 19.04 machine, how to install i3 alongside the Unity desktop and how to get going. And this one is about one of the one of the viewer asked me if they've already got Manjaro GNOME, um, how would they install i3 and use them alongside the GNOME edition? So you can switch between GNOME and i3 um, if you like it. So that's what we're going to see in this video. So if you've got Manjaro GNOME uh, edition installed on your laptop, you can install i3 alongside with it. And while logging into your machine, still you'll be using the GNOME's display uh, login manager, GDM. Uh, so when you come to the login page, uh, you will be given option to select uh, whether you want to log into the GNOME environment or to the i3 environment. All right. So I'm going to close this and I've created a virtual machine with uh, Manjaro GNOME installed already. So let me open VirtualBox. VirtualBox and Manjaro i3 is there. Let me open up. Let me change that to the other side and uh, resize it. All right, so that should be better. And now it's starting up. All right. Let's wait for it. All right, there you go. So that's our login screen. I'm going to login. So this is a very fresh install of Manjaro GNOME. I haven't installed any other packages or I haven't started customizing this uh, distribution yet. So it's a vanilla installation and I'm going to show you how to start installing or configuring i3. All right, so what we're going to do first is to let me resize the terminal and uh, I'm going to install first update your package cache pacman cache sudo pacman minus s y y it's going to ask for the password all right so once that's done sudo pacman minus s y u to upgrade your system like system is completely upgraded I don't have any packages for upgrade and now I'm going to install Git and Ansible. Sorry, not Git, i3 and Ansible. I've already got Git. If you don't have Git, sudo pacman minus s git, get that installed. And since we are going to customize i3 uh, automa automatically using uh, Ansible, you need Ansible as well. So sudo pacman minus s Ansible, and we also install i3. So i3 is going to pull lots of dependencies along with it. So that's a good thing. We don't have to install each of those packages ourselves. All right, so when you install i3, it asks, do you want to install the i3 gaps, i3 window manager, i3 blocks, i3 log, i3 status and everything? Yes, default is all. Let's install all of them. So once that's done, um, I will be cloning my GitHub repository where I've got the Ansible playbooks. And git clone, HTTPS github.com slash just me and open source slash my i3. I'll put the link to this uh, in the description so you can download that. Right cd to my i3. And in here, the first thing you have to do is, as always, edit the setup.yaml file and update your username here. In various playbooks, uh, depending on what username you give, all the configuration files will get copied to the correct place. And if you get this wrong, uh, i3 will still be installed, but all the configurations won't get copied. So you will see the default configuration. You won't see my shortcuts or my customizations. All right, so I've installed this virtual machine using uh, the user account Venkatian. So that's a valid user account in my case. And in your case, you update that with your user account. So that's the only thing you need in here. And what else? All right, so cat readme.md. So this is what we are going to do. We have done the Ansible. We have installed i3 and we have cloned. We are in the my i3 repository. So now we are going to run this command Ansible playbook minus i. That's the Ansible configuration and setup.yaml is the main file. 
All right, so press the enter, wait for it. It will take about a minute, less than a minute to completely configure your system. It's installing various packages. If you want to customize it, you can always go ahead uh, in the my i3 directory. You have the tasks directory where I've got all the playbooks. So you can customize it. If you want additional software, so you can have it installed. So it has copied all the configurations. It has installed the required packages and everything. So we should be good to go. And we also, if, if you like Z shell, because I use Z shell, um, if you want, you can also install and change your default shell to Z shell. So cd to docs in here, cat Z shell dot empty. All right, so the first thing is this one. We're going to install oh my Z shell. Before that, make sure you've got Z shell installed. Otherwise, sudo pacman minus yes Z shell. Get that installed. And now we are going to install the oh my Z shell. Oh my Z shell, that's running. It's going to ask you for your password because it's going to change your default shell. Yes, I want my Z shell changed, uh, default shell changed to Z shell. So that's okay. And now I'm going to copy uh, the Z shell auto suggestions plugin. Paste that. This is Z shell auto suggestions. That's all looking good. And now you got to edit the ZSHRC file and go to the section where it says plugins. It's towards the bottom of this configuration file bottom of the zshrc file and add zsh auto suggestions to that all right so i think we have done everything we need so sudo systemcdl reboot or you can just log out and log back in i usually prefer reboot because once you upgrade your system a lot of packages might have been upgraded so it's a good idea to reboot your system but Equally, it will work if you just log out and log back in. All right, so let's wait for it to come. And during the login screen, now we should be able to see an option to log into the i3 desktop environment or GNOME if you like it. All right, so let's wait for the login screen. Yep, rank it in, type in your password. And now if you just hit enter, it will take you to the GNOME desktop environment because that's the last uh, session that you chose. But if you click this little gear icon, choose i3, and the next time you reboot your system, it will automatically take you to the i3 desktop environment. It remembers your selection now, so if you want to go back to GNOME again, you have to log in and you have to choose GNOME. So whatever you choose, the setting will be preserved, and the next time you uh, log in, you will, it will be taken, you'll be taken to that environment, all right? So sign in, so now we should see our i3 desktop environment. All right, cool, so now you can see here, so that's the i3 blocks. Don't get confused with the, the bottom one. So that's my host machine's um, i3 blocks. So here, this virtual machine, and you've got the status bar here, the i3 blocks. All right, that's running fine. Let's check uh, if everything is working one by one. All right, the first thing to check is Rofi, the uh, application launcher. The shortcut for that is Windows and Spacebar. Yep, our Rofi application is working fine. Let's uh, update our wallpaper and the application is nitrogen. All right, so preferences, add the directory. I'm going to add file system, user, share, backgrounds. I'm going to choose wallpapers, select, and you will see the wallpapers coming up here. Let's select this one automatic zoomed fill apply all right cool so we've got our wallpaper mod q to close the window if you want to look at all my configurations as explained in my first video it's all in the github repository and you can check out all my configurations and if you want to change the configuration you can change it it's in the dot i3 config directory so to open up the terminal it's mod shift and enter cool so that's our terminal and let's see if zsh auto suggestions uh, plugin is working fine get if I just start typing get it shows from the history the previous command that's in the background And if you hit the right arrow key, it's going to autofill the command for you. So that's zsh auto suggestions That's working fine. Let's also verify. I don't need the default uh, Menu bar for the terminal. So I'm gonna say 
show menu bar by default this is non-terminal i don't want to see the uh, the toolbar or the menu bar here so let's close and check that again all right cool so no toolbar i'm opening up again and let's open another terminal okay and you can switch between them all right that's working fine and let's look at the notification daemon notify send hello how are you today all right cool so that's dance notification is working fine let's verify if the file manager is working so mod shift f so that's the file manager and that's working fine q to quit the file manager i'm using ranger for the command line file manager all right so i've got the norm terminal here if you want to make it floatable uh, mod shift spacebar so that's floatable now and hitting the mod key you can use your mouse to move the window and again mod shift spacebar will dock it again all right so that's working fine and if i open another terminal ls block just some random commands and if i want to lock my screen mod l yes so it just blurs the screen and if you can just start typing the password it will let you in so that's working fine we've updated our wallpaper everything is working fine and all the configurations the i3 blocks are working all right so the main configuration for i3 if you have followed my watch my first video you would have known it by now which is dot i3 slash config so that's the uh the default i3 configuration file so this is the file where you configure all your shortcuts so as you can see here i've got uh, some shortcuts here mod shift uh, enter for gnome terminal mod shift w for google chrome stable but i haven't actually installed google chrome browser but once you install google chrome um, then you will be able to use this shortcut for gnome terminal uh, for file manager it's mod shift f you can basically go through this configuration file and vi.config slash compton.com this is where you set the transparency so this is a virtual machine so it doesn't work really well but on my host machine it works well so basically uh you've set a wallpaper and this terminal here and the gnome terminal the two gnome terminals should have been transparent uh, and you should be able to see the background wallpaper slightly but uh, as it's a virtual machine it's not working very well but dot config slash compton dot coms that's the file you need to set your transparency which i've already set so if you're uh, installing this on your physical machine or a laptop then you should see the transparency effect opacity rule here i'm saying for gnome terminal i need 80 percent transparency for rofi 80 percent uh and so on so these are the default uh, uh opacities things that i've set all right so if you look in dot config you will have various things uh, i3 blocks vi dot config i3 blocks config so that's the config file for your status bar here and if you type in so these are the different set of commands time weather interface battery load memory and cpu temperature so all these things you see here are the uh the actual scripts that i've got so this is the configuration file for i3 blocks but actually all the scripts are in the opt scripts my i3 blocks directory so cd to opt scripts my i3 blocks i've got all my scripts here so i can add whatever scripts you want and you can you can basically look at my scripts here and get an understanding of how you need to structure your script and what you need to print to the uh, std out to be able to be used uh, as a, as a scriptlet for the i3 blocks status bar all right uh cool i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you so much for watching this video i will see you all in my next video if you've got any questions or any issues uh regarding the customization uh feel free to leave me a comment i shall be able to get back to you and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please share and subscribe all right Thank you for your time watching this video. Bye-bye.